video. Yeah, we're live. All right, we're live. Um, what do I say on YouTube? Like and share and subscribe, or actually don't. Do the opposite. Don't leave comments. If you do, you're, you're gonna get deleted. That's my advice. That'll, yeah. That'll work for now. Legit advice. All right, let's go, man. Let's go. Break the wall. They removed the dislike button? I would not be surprised if they did. Alright, 50% to the next level. I'm gonna see how fast I get at levels. Not very fast. You're up there, buddy. Yep. Got myself an EXP boost as well. Better have donated for that. I did. Spent a whole lot of money, a whole lot of points. Server's making me poor. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill mechanical bosses to unlock doors. So, yeah. But no levers. I don't think we pull any levers in this quest. Tavi has left the party. He's like level 2k mage. How do you leave the party so early, dog? How? He had to go. He had to, for sure. Maybe he had work. Where is the team, though? I don't, I only see four dudes in here. <laughs> the rest are like, lost. I'm behind a, a wall of people. Oh, Here's you're fools. the other way. Yeah, I knew something was wrong. People want that extra EXP and loot, man. They do. Yeah, I think Miles was in this quest. This is the quest he was talking about before. But you've never been here, right? No, I haven't been here. I literally, yeah, I literally hid my FPS because I locked it in on vertical synchronization, which means it's only at 120. 
46. So I didn't even want to see that number. What's your FPS win when you get a lot of these crazy monsters shooting a trillion spells? I just limit mine at 100 so it stays at 100. That's good. That's good. I feel like it's unnecessary to go above it. No? Well, it no. If you get a really good computer, a thousand is much smoother, better than a hundred. You know, like you want to max it out. On a good machine, you want to max it out. You want to keep it at like whatever the highest it can be. You know, you can tell. I can tell it. Cause I, but I also got a high refresh rate screen. Like I have a screen where if you move your mouse on my screen, you'd be like, what the fuck, man? That's crazy smooth. And then when you look at a normal screen, you'd be thinking like, wow, they're lagging real hard. So I got a, like a whole setup like that. So I need to have high FPS, you know, go my screen on the craziest settings. And I notice the differences, you know, very clearly between like, and I can't even walk as fast. If you got a FPS at a hundred versus a thousand, you can just walk faster, literally. So everything's being processed faster. I didn't know that. I thought it like literally limited at like, you know, a certain certain cap. I thought it was pointless to go above 100 or whatever. Yeah. Because, yeah. I think you don't want to limit your frame rate too high. You do? I mean, you do. But once uh, you got a machine that runs it at 2k FPS, you just want to max it out. Oh, what? You don't think Windows 95 can handle it? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Windows 95 with no updates. The only thing you guys minefield. Do you remember playing that? Minefield. Oh, yeah. I got an update, man. I got Service Pack 3. Oh, yeah, I love them. Dude, Service Packs used to be a huge thing. Now nobody even knows what the fuck they are. But remember, it used to be like a thing. Like, what, which Service Pack you got? Like, what the fuck was it even? I still don't know what the fuck a, a Service Pack is. I just know Service Pack 3 is better than 1. Yeah. What are your chances of getting malware, basically? Yeah, with three, it means three times higher the chance. Yeah, those zero day vulnerabilities, man. Yep. Yeah, I wonder how much the malware slash security scene changed over the years. Back then, there used to be like black hole exploit kit and things like that where you'd be able to put it on a website and every time someone would visit that, if they had a vulnerable browser or operating system, whatever, you know, things like that, exploit kits, they would get infected and through, through some tricks and th there was a lot back in the day. I bet everything is much more secure these days and all those type of things are very privately held and only used on like high net worth individuals and i bet if a lot of people target crypto people as well with exploits and like you know it's all 100 percent money related yeah i'm not sure how that stuff works anymore that i don't know i know back in the day like trojans were a thing i haven't heard about trojans in years <laughs> yeah But, you know, there's a lot more security now than back in the day, too. Like, back in the day, it was easier, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah, people used to, like, hack into, like, <laughs> NASA servers and try to find pictures of UFOs and dumb shit like that. Now, nobody's, ain't nobody gonna do that. They got, like, their systems are, like, outside of the normal internet and whatnot. <laughs> you know, just funny stuff. Yeah, they're probably just trying to hack cryptos now. Oh, yeah.
All right, we cleaned the first mechanical box. Moving on to the next one. Yo, Cocaine has Trump been watching too many of these superhero movies. They're trying to hack Superman's lair. They ain't, dog. They ain't. That's not what's going on. Do you watch those movies like Am Avengers and stuff like that? I do, but it's because my girlfriend got me into it. I did not care before, but I don't know. Now that um, now that I got involved, I can't stop. Really? What the fuck, man? I can't watch them. I still don't watch them. I, I, there's something about superhero stuff that's just doesn't work for me but i i think i just haven't watched enough i you know yeah. like it's hard to relate to something that's totally fictional i guess like is that what do you like when you watch it do you want to be superman what's the fun thing in it <laughs> i don't even know man uh, uh, maybe well, I should just watch the Avengers. Well, I just find them funny. Like, they're pretty humorous, like, most of the time. Like, I just watch it because it's funny. And I actually grew up reading comics. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but it, what's the dude in the red suit that's funny? The funny, the... Not Daredevil, but the other guy. Deadpool. Deadpool, yeah, yeah, I like those movies, yeah. Deadpool. I like me some Deadpool. And my dad used to read Spawn. So I, I used to read those comics as well as a kid. It was fucking hardcore though. Spawn is like the most hardcore comic ever. It's like dark and fucking crazy. Have you ever read Johnny the Homicidal Maniac? <laughs> no, but that sounds like a whole lot of fun. Those were great, dude. They were funny, like creative. Oh man, they were the last. But that's usually why I just watch things. Like that's why I can watch Marvel because it's just funny to me. It's not exactly like the superhero thing or anything like that. Yeah, you're not like thinking of or dreaming of being the Batman. Well, I might. You know, Bruce Wayne has deep pockets. He does, and he lives in a fucking cave. You do as well, so you're already halfway there. No, I'm just kidding. I would love to live in a cave, though. One of them, like, uh, like a little grassy cave. You remember those houses built inside, like, what are they, tiny bumps? Earth homes. Earth homes, yeah. I want me a cave, but like that. Same. Same. That's my dream. Or a bunker. A bunker would be nice, too. Crafty handle it. He made sure we're definitely gonna unlock the door. That's the way to go. OG Crafty at it. People don't even know. They got no clue why the magic walls were there. Oh, you mean I could have waited back there? But yeah, I had this moment when I got my new TV, I was like really enjoying movies, but now I lost it again. I don't know what happened. I just want to do shit. Like, I, I don't know. It's hard to focus. If I watch a movie alone, I'll just end up like watching 10 minutes of it and running to the computer or something dumb. I like watching documentaries or informative things, but like, if it's not with my girlfriend, like I don't care to watch anything fictional 
Yeah, same, same. Podcasts, stuff like that. Yeah, I do it alone. I hate podcasts. You hate podcasts? I literally, yeah. what? I literally oh. ask you, you said you listened to a lot of them the other day. Or did you not? Okay, maybe you didn't get my question then. Okay. Why, why do you hate podcasts? There's so much. I know why. You're not listening to the right ones. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna. He's, he's gonna. You gotta ask it. Oh man, people are giving you questions. I can't ask them on the stream. This is too. It's too hardcore. Literally, they. they what wanna, is it? I can't. I'm not gonna say. It. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Man. They want to know all kinds of crazy things, man. I would ask it, but I'm scared of like. We're gonna get booted off YouTube. The algorithm's gonna take a big fat dildo and fuck us in the ass with it. Good, something's gonna happen. No shit. <laughs> yeah. What no. kind of questions? I'm not saying it, man. Fuck that. Uh, copy and paste it to me, or a text it to me in the game. Yeah, I, I will in a bit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so um yeah yeah so you don't like podcasts at all you don't listen to them at all ever well i mean i do it's just like i can't watch joe rogan's podcast or anything like that why not because sometimes he, he's like alex jones to me he goes too far out there oh yeah 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 for sure yeah but you can't like I don't know. I just, if I listen to anything like that, somebody going too out there with anything, it's just, it, it doesn't bother me. It used to a little bit more, but it doesn't bother me anymore. I don't know. I just feel like I got a, some sort of filter for it that it doesn't affect me right now. Or maybe it does subconsciously and I'm just sucking up some dumb info of, you know, things being too out there too easily. But I don't feel like I am, you know? Like, I'm not worried. Because I, I know I've been out there. I've been way too out there with weird theories, thoughts, ideas, you know, just dumb shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Shit. I got lost. Uh, Miles wants to come down um, in the chat. Cool. Not cool, man. He's fired, remember? He's fired? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck, that was a secret. Shit. Yeah, it's just moving here. Yeah, moving here. I got you. User was moved to your channel. Crafty. Yo, yo. yo, can you crafty make sure that nobody press the lever? If they do, whip them. Damn man, Chris was supposed to call me before this started, and then yeah, I I log on and there's a TP in the middle of DP. I'm like, what the hell is this? Yeah, and if you hop on that TP, you're gonna be far away. Although if you I, if you know the there, quest, you might be able to catch up. But you know, your our boy Crafty is gonna take care of it. Yeah, yeah, he got me. Uh, our girl crafty right now. He's wearing the princess uniform. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. So I'm lost, y'all. <laughs> You're still lost. How do you get lost? There's like a hundred people here. Yeah. Well, I had, Miles called me and I had to go run grab my phone. That's when I went quiet. Oh. Uh, and yeah, I got lost. Sure, it's all my fault. This is all your fault, Chris. Because you didn't call me the first time. You were fired. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, nobody told me that. 
you, you didn't do your job, so now you're fired. Yeah, that's, that's actually true. It's all Chris's fault. It's hard to tell you, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm just so busy firing other people. <laughs> yeah, you do get an odd pleasure out of that. I don't know. Maybe it's something with us. Because I do like yelling at people to keep it down and stuff. Like, oh my god. When I was doing the uh, paranormal investigation thing with Tamar... Uh, like I, I just enjoyed yelling at people so much, telling them to shut up in the other room. Wait, what? You did what? You did yeah. a pet? What? I, I don't believe in any of that shit. But uh, don't think, lie, dude. Yeah, no shit. But uh, we were doing this paranormal investigation thing. Like we uh, went to an old haunted building and uh, like investigated it, I guess, to see if there was any ghost activity. Was, was there? Just, <laughs> they think they're what well. I think they're full of shit. Right. But, Who thought you that? Like, did you go there? Uh, with... uh, my my girl thought it. You know, like everybody I was with, uh, we went to like this old famous uh, mental asylum, and yeah, yeah, called Eloise. And oh my god, they thought it was so interesting, and I was so fucking bored, dude. That's crazy. Holy fuck. Yeah, like there's nothing there, and they're like. You can hear it through the camera, man. There's something here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, they're like, oh, there's an old hooker in this room. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did they have, like, tools, like some sort of a fart scanner phone app to find, oh, like, yeah. ghosts? No, they had tons of those fart scanner phone apps. That's crazy. <laughs> what all, the all the... All the bullshit you could imagine, they had it. You know, they had, uh, god damn it. Holy the, water? What? Like, in The Exorcist. Oh, yeah, I think they, they had some holy water, and then they had, uh, like, oh, man, EMF readers. They had, like, these spirit box things. I don't know. It was just crazy shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, I've never even momentarily believed in ghosts. He said not even for a second. And not even for a second. Yeah, I'm the same way. I, I probably did when I was like, you know, in my teens or something, you know, like 12. But yeah, no, not in my adult life. Never. Yeah. So do you listen to any podcasts? We were talking about podcasts before. Oh, uh, no, I, I could never actually get into podcasts. You know, it's, uh, I don't know. I think I've listened to some on mushrooms, but, <laughs> right. I, you know, if Paul Stamens was in a podcast, I'd listen to that podcast. Well, he was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Joe Rogan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Those two, you know, those two do, like, all the same stuff. Yeah, yeah. But it is crazy. Like, he went, he literally, like, a week after, or whatever, I sold Paul Stamets to the website. He went on Joe Rogan's podcast and talked about it. He was like, we got this new website, hit the link, and it's the fucking same website I sold. And it's crazy. Like, unbelievable shit. Yeah, that is awesome. You know, it was a good website. I'm, I'm kind of sad that you sold it, but I think it was a good opportunity. Like, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Although I regret fucking up a little with the, you know, the offering and what yeah. I got from it. But I did get it. 
nice amount for it, like a legit nice amount. Should have told him to pay you an LSD. <laughs> yeah. Like, send, yeah. Send me a truck full of shrooms, son. Yeah, there you go. Like, Paul, I know you got it. Don't fuck around, bro. Yeah. Maybe that could be the the title. <laughs> Paul St Fuck Paul Stamets. Actually, I think no. Lucifer's son just came up with a, a really good title for uh, what this video should be called, and we should call it Human Centipede. Okay. <laughs> then take a picture of us here in a centipede position, yeah. basically. Have that in the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. Then Cr Crafty is going to be in the first line because he's just like, or nah, the last one? Which one is yeah, the best Yeah, the last spot? one. The, the best spot. I would say the worst spot is uh, to be last. Okay. Or in the middle. You don't want to be in the middle. Crafty, get in the middle of this human centipede. <laughs> yeah, Crafty, let's go. We're all in the middle, man. Don't be a <laughs> pussy. Yeah, no, I'm going to put Miles in the middle. Yeah, you really want to be in the first spot of a human centipede. Fuck everything else. Yeah, it's going to go Joel Miles Crafty. Oh, I get, I get to be in the middle. Sweet. <laughs> well, you were fired. So, <laughs> yeah. Being fired puts you in the middle of the human centipede. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what happens to anybody who gets fired on Outcast. Yeah, See, if you, but if you don't it, play for a week, you get put in the center of a human centipede. <laughs> yeah. See, but is is the middle the worst? Like, you get a constant rim job, you know? <laughs> yeah, but if you're, you know, if you're the first, you still get that, and you don't have to eat shit. <laughs> the end. <laughs> the end is the worst. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. who, who knows what? I don't know, man. We gotta ask somebody well, who's been well, in Well, at the end, at least you don't have somebody so to your ass. I don't yeah. know. Wasn't the food nasty, though? Like, Oh, yeah. You, the, you get the lowest or... quality food in the, uh, in, the, in the first one, or the third one. <laughs> you get, it's all doo-doo. Twice processed. Yeah. Yeah, the person on the end... <laughs> Is probably gonna die first and gets no rim job. Yeah. In the uh in the movie it was the person I think in the second position who the infection set in first. I don't even remember what happened in the movie. I mean you I remember don't the, want to. the one thing I do remember. Uh, <laughs> yes, there was a human centipede, but I don't remember yeah. what exactly led up to such fucking craziness. Yeah, I know he did it with dogs first, and then he was like treating them like dogs. He was like, "Now eat, yes, now poop." <laughs> I don't know. He was, he was like directing them the whole time. It was hilarious. Right? Oh, there's two movies. Well, there is a second one. The second one, I guess, is supposed to go for like maximum gross factor. It's like a, it's a human centipede to like the uh, fuck. He does it with like twenty people or something in the second one. Right. Yeah. Uh, Lucifer's son was asking who are the them folk and team speak. Uh, I'm with uh, Chris and Miles here. Yeah. Yeah, look for our characters, Chris and Miles. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, I'm on Blow Me right now. I'm on Big Dick McGee. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Oh, yeah. What, what What's the worst? They say the Serbian film is the nastiest oh. horror film ever. But I, I've never seen it. I downloaded it, I remember, but it was like a cam rip. Back in the day, which meant like somebody filmed it with with like a VHS tape recorder or whatever camera, 
at the Serbian a Serbian film is pretty fucked up. I don't know. Like Human Centipede, I think has has more gross factors. Serbian film is just like complete and utter violence, though. Okay. Yeah. Anybody from Serbia? What is Serbia really like a Serbian film? I think it is. If I had to bet, yeah, Zulu, Bayotsi, and and who else? Let me see. Oh yeah, Zulu's uh, Serbian. Yeah, it's definitely like that in there. Then. Well, he told me. I mean, yeah, he told me that they put people alive into a meat grinder over there. So they're, you know, they're pretty hardcore. Yeah, Serbian film is just like that's like a walk in the park for them. That's the easy stuff. Yeah. Like, what is this? Is this a comedy? <laughs> yeah, no shit. I'm kind of one second. I need to see if my food's here. All right. Yeah, Serbian film is just like fucking. Uh, it's a children's film. It's like the Teletubbies over there. <laughs> then them little kids wake up at 8 a.m. to watch it on a repeat every morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I stepped on the stack. Surprisingly, I don't think you broke anybody. Oh yeah, you did. You broke a few people. Yeah. Me. I'm broken. All in pieces. People are just dropping like flies. They think it's Yetis or some shit, but it's like Cracktrons. <laughs> yeah. and... I'm about to close that door. Fuck this. Yeah. There's that Cracktron loot. I've almost, almost watched all the episodes of Ray Donovan with my girl. I need a new series. You guys got any suggestions? Um, shit. What have I watched lately? Did, uh, Ex Machina was really... Or it's not called Ex Machina. What is that show he called? He doesn't watch cartoons, buddy. It's an animation. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they, yeah are, cartoons. they all mean cartoons to me. Yeah. Oh fuck! It was good. The, the comedy is good in it. Uh, let's see something. Have you wa have you watched Undercover? No. Uh, yeah, it's about like the world's biggest ecstasy dealer. Uh, it's like a Belgian movie or something. It's fucking great though. It's a, based on a true story. Yeah, I might look it up. Is it on HBO or Netflix or Netflix? Yeah. There's a new Netflix series. I forget what it's called. I'd have to look it up when uh, we're at a better spot. But um, fuck. It's about like this old lady that went into witness protection and her daughter doesn't even know like her real name or her real birthday or anything. That sound familiar? Oh, shit. My pizza's here. I'll be back. Probably going to die. Don't come back. You're fired. Wait, what's the name of that series you just mentioned? One sec, I'll look it up. I'm dying at the moment.
Fisher was like, fuck this blow me guy, he's just AFK in here, man. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Let's go Fisher, let's slaughter him. On live TV. I'll help you. Yeah, let's do it. Shit, it is not on the top page at all for Netflix shows. Yeah, I looked at Netflix. The top one recommended in Finland was like a Formula One series. Oh, really? That's number one for you? Yeah, yeah, recommended, yeah. Because I opened Netflix when my parents were here. Me and my dad watched it a little bit. I've never watched it, but I was like, yeah. Because my dad is into a Formula One, so I was like, let's go. But yeah, I like series that got a lot of seasons, so you can just binge watch it go crazy. It's the best. All right, I'm back. Yeah, Fisher Which... said he's going to kill you. Fisher's going to kill me. Yep. Oh, wait, what did I do to Fisher? You were AFK and you're an MC. <laughs> and I'm an MC. That sounds right. Yeah, all the people in the back that aren't moving, they're just too high. That's all to it. That's all there is to it. Or drunk, most likely. Yeah, yeah. They did those 220 gram fucking milligram edibles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Breach and psychosis. Oh, yeah. have you ever seen Sweet Tooth? No. Oh, is that the chick with the... Uh teeth in her vagina no no <laughs> no that's where it is that's what it should be called though that, that would be a good name for that that one's just called teeth okay yeah sweet no. tooth is like uh all these people get genetically mutated and like some of them have fucking deer antlers some of them have like rabbit noses like weird shit I don't know. It's an interesting, cool series. I thought. Yeah. yeah, you made it sound cooler than it actually is, though. When you say people get genetically mutated, it makes it sound like there's adults that spontaneously get these things, but uh, it's like bred into children. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just kids that get it, like uh, newborn babies around this certain time it's weird interesting yeah is it yeah. yeah i've never ever heard of that or seen any nobody ever mentioned it yeah maybe yeah i was that. trying to give any spoilers but yeah it's the best way i could describe it and it's a good series oh yeah i like the shit out of it but it's kind of like a an apocalyptic apocalyptic type type thing you know yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like them good old zombie movies from back in the day, like Dawn of the Dead. They got this nice vibe to them. That yeah. New movies don't have. That, that's true. There's like a humanity to them that, that we've lost. Oh, yeah. And I think they overdid zombies. Like now it's just too far. They're like zombie apocalypse, zombie entrance. Like, oh, what the fuck? Like, calm down. Like, it's not that cool. Yeah, like, why is there 15 seasons of The Walking Dead? No shit. That is I facts. I, I lost it after, like, season four or something. I was like, this is too much. Yeah, I had the exact same thing happen to me. I don't know if it's maybe got better at the end or something good happened, but it's just, 
I could not. Like I, I just lost it. I lost it at some point. And I couldn't. Yeah, it got continue. like super lifetimey. You know, <laughs> turned into just more about like their everyday life and drama than yeah. actual like zombies. Yeah, yeah. But that's why I like Sweet Tooth because it's kind of like an apocalyptic type situation that's not zombies. It's a nice change. Nice change. Yeah, and there's a few deadheads in there, you know, so that's a good thing. Deadheads as in Grateful Dead fans. Mm hmm. Fuck yeah. I'm watching it. I love Grateful Dead. Yeah. They got the coolest t shirts, so, like, oh man, there's so much nice shit they got. But yeah, man, sweet too. Check it out. All right, sweet too. It is. I don't know. A lot of people don't like Grateful Dead, Fish, stuff like. That. I like it though. Fish doesn't like Grateful Dead. Fuck that guy. <laughs> no, no, I mean a lot of people don't like either of them bands. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. They are pretty great. I just, I don't know. How could you make bad music if you're that high on LSD all the time? <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Fish did it a lot. No. I don't like a lot of fish music. <laughs> Wait, Crafty, do we do anything to this part? Oh yeah, we most certainly did. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, did you do anything? Do we do anything? There's a fucking Alpha Doritos staring right to mine. That's about to drop the best loot. Now you're fired. Fuck you. You got that wrong. I'm not a gypsy or a witch. Motherfucker, you're both. Your mom's a whore. Your mom too. Barbastrizan is Novi Novak Tank God bitch. People leaving the party. Oh, wait. I can't hear you. No, I can't hear nobody. What happened? Can't hear us? Yep. Your, your mic fucked up or your speakers fucked up again? Be right back. Hey. Yo, yo. Okay, now it works. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, I, I was wondering why is nobody saying anything. Miles said he's going AFK again. Okay. Victor's gonna kill his ass. <laughs> yeah. MC and motherfucker. No, I'm playing. MC motherfucker. We're just hanging out here, 
bong hits for everyone. Yeah. Wait, where are you right now, though? I'm next to uh, shit. I thought you were here a minute ago. And that I'm following, little... I'm following Novak. Are you are you by Novak? Uh... No, but yeah, do keep following him. He knows where he's heading. Okay. Yeah, we went sort of uh, into the center of uh, the wall, like the north center area. Yeah, I'm going to wait till everybody. Yeah, I think they kill the boss, the mechanical boss. Um, I'm, I'm going to wait till everybody gets to me. Then we unlock the door. All right, I'm going to head towards you then. I think I might know where you're at. Fuck. Sell me a house here, Joel. <laughs> Wait, what? Is there some, does somebody have a house here? No, I'm just talking shit. Because lots of them look like houses, but they're not. Yeah. All right, we're going to wait for the team here. I'm going to spice things up a little. Make a few extra surprises. Oh, some, some surprises, eh? Yup. Oh, shit. Um, so the mechanical boss here, does it open up the, uh, hut to the east or is he the hut to the east? One of the boss that we killed basically opens up one of the electrical walls that lead to the cyclop robe chest. Yeah, you'd think I'd remember because I just did this quest. But... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it took me years to understand what I'd created, so I get it. That's a great. You know, you should probably start writing stuff down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is where we came from. Okay. Uh, I guess message crafty everybody. He's he's about to get spammed. Yeah, just message crafty. You guys aren't going to find it. I mean, they should. They've been here for like a million times. I mean, this is a millionth time. But I, yeah, this is a confusing place. This is. I almost get lost every time. Yeah, if I'm not following a tutorial, I just, I'm like, fuck. GM Crafty for president. Oh, yeah. If we ever for sure. nominate a president, he's going to be the one. Yeah. Or princess, whatever. Yeah, actually, princess, yeah. <laughs> GM Crafty for princess, y'all. 2023. Look at those tits. Maybe I'll put that on the ballot next year. Instead of writing an actual president, or next election, I'll just write GM Crafty. Yeah, I was actually once counting those things, like, what, ballots, pallets, whatever. People used to write funny shit to them, like, draw dicks. Some people would have, like, Mickey Mouse. There was a lot of that, like, people would no vote shit. for Mickey Mouse, yeah. I know a lot of people here, you know, 
They're probably white supremacists, but like voted for Charles Manson. <laughs> I love that video where he makes all those weird faces. Fuck. He's a really crazy <laughs> yeah. fuck. He is crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't agree with anything he did, but he's a funny motherfucker to watch for sure. Yeah. Did you ever see the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? It was actually good. I liked it. It's about nah. Charles Manson slightly and some crazy shit. It was made by, uh, directed by Quentin Tarantino, so it's like a well-made movie. Oh, no shit. I'm, I'm surprised, because I, I haven't seen that movie, and I like a lot of his shit, so. Yeah. All them weird fuckers, like, um, who's a uh, dude from Titanic, uh, Brett. Oh, Pitt, yeah. Well, it's that. like, it's got, like, all the major well-known superstar fucking dude actors in it. Yeah. But it's good. It's good. It's long. Is it a new it's, movie or an old one? It's a new one. Yeah, it's pretty new, oh, like two shit. years old maybe. Yeah, no, I haven't seen anything that he's come out. I thought he just fucking died. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he might have. I don't know. He, I don't. I don't even. I just think it's it was directed by Quentin, but maybe not. Could be. Might not be. Never yeah, it has vibes from oh shit that was another good movie too uh, uh what was it called it was like old man or something it's a new uh old no country for old man no no I, uh, not so that I, one. no uh it just came out but it has fuck uh, i forget the actor's name uh, it has Samuel L. Jackson in it, you know. And I hate to ruin movies, but there's one part where he's don't, just don't like, don't spoil it, man. I can't. Okay. Can't watch okay. it. If you spoil yeah. anything, I'll fucking do something bad. No, it's it's really good and really fucked up. Uh, the the girl who played Scarlet Witch, if you know who that is, no. she was in it. Okay. One of the Olsen sisters, not twins. Oh, I love them. I know you do. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you old pervs. Hey, Crafty, can you hit me up with the teleport? Old pervs, they're older than us. I'm saying <laughs> yeah, you. Like, what do you yeah. mean? Man? Oh, yeah. No. They look like grannies nowadays. Nice that's grannies. True. Yeah, well, that's probably like. 20 in Hollywood. Yeah. All that cocaine, you know, prematurely ages those people. It does. Who's this blow me dude? He's keep dying. I know, dude. That's just uh, worst spots ever. I'm going to hang back. I'm so used to Vermis and not Vermithrax X's. They hit a little bit harder. <laughs> yeah, they do. I can I can survive a Vermi, but apparently not that. God damn it, where'd you go, Crafty? There you are. Noob's going to learn today. They won't believe me, man. It, doesn't, <laughs> yeah. it literally doesn't matter how many times you die. Them motherfuckers never learn. Still going to be charged into the front of the line like that Rick Rubin motherfucker. Yeah, like I want to touch the monster. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stand right next to it and get in the stream. Boom. Run straight into the kaleidoscope. 30 square meters away and still die. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much how it is. And it's my fault. No, I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can we get a statue, Crafty? I feel like a lot of people died. We deserve it. No, you just died a lot. <laughs> yeah, it was just me. Yeah, I'm turning on Party Boo, boo Boost. Party Boost. And uh, Crafty hit us up with the statue. It's right here. The man did it. Yeah, he probably put it right next to the fucking Vermes. He loves to He did. <laughs> he knows how to place it. He knows how to place it in. It's actually smart, like... 
he when he when he plays it right by the monsters we gotta kill it first and then it's always clear it's like nobody has to run back it's just forward and die but it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like it yeah no it's enjoyable as much shit as i talk about it i, I do love it oddly Because he makes you work for it, you know? You can't just get it. Jesus Christ, all these evil limps. Where's the limp been at, by the way? You guys can thank Hellwow for this. He told me I gotta teach people how to stay back. Well, uh, I, I kept dying, um, like, very far away from the action. Oh, yeah. This is, I don't think distance helps with these monsters. This is just... Yeah, no, because, like... If it retargets to a group, it's just going to keep going. You know, they're too fast. Yeah, yeah. Like here, if you want to survive, just lug off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just don't show up. Yeah, we should have a metric for all the quests and sessions that would count how many times people died or got resurrected. That would be a more... Accurate measure. I don't want to. I don't want to see those numbers. You should make it to where I can hide them from myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, create something where you could, uh, like you know, give people better. You know, if they have better survivability, they get more uh, test points at the end or something. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then it's just gonna be me at the front, everybody chickening out in the back. I've actually, I forgot to do Exeter Res Maximus. I usually, when we go questing, I do a lot of it, but now I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing anything. I'm just like standing and healing, basically. Hey, uh, Crafty, could you teleport um, Lord Sandstorm here? Nope, too late. Too late, buddy. Yeah, we got a big team. I just haven't seen them once. <laughs> yeah. All these fucking super evil limps walking around. I can't. God, this is too much. Well, that's what happened to us back there. There's uh, like some super evil limps and it was just us noobs. I say noobs, but, you know, I was the only noob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love how level 1000s are still technically noobs on your server. They, they kind of are. Or it depends. There's some level 1000s that know how to do it, but they're from back in the, back in the day. Shit, where'd you guys even go? Motherfucker. There's the, the goddamn... I almost forgot to heal. do that all the time. Be right back. I'm going to AFK this. S coming live stream constantly going AFK. Yeah, well, I ordered food. God damn it! What kind of food? MSG powder. Oh yeah, that shit. 
That'd probably be really good. I should try it sometime. Uh, Domino's Pizza, uh, chicken and sausage. Oh yeah, is that the one, pizza. Chris? Is that the one we ordered? And they no, had the you, pasta you got... with the dough bowl. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that one. Oh yeah, I fucking love that shit. Yeah, that's actually what I got my girl. One of those bread bowls. That that medieval Europe type, you know. Legit, did people eat pasta like that back in the day? Is that why they're doing like these bowls? I mean, the dough bowl, bread bowl thing. Is that uh, like an I actual did. thing or is it something Domino's invented? I, I did hear that they existed back in like medieval Europe. That was like the equivalent of a burger back then. Because it is delicious. Like first you eat the pasta... Then you eat the actual bowl you ate the pasta from because it's fucking dough bread, bread dough, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it shit is delicious. I bet they put sugar and MSG in there. <laughs> yeah. It's like the worst combo though. You should never eat pasta nor bread. <laughs> you just go into a fucking week long coma. So fucking good though. It is. And we were kind of already in comatose mode back then, so, you know. Yeah, we probably weren't making the healthiest of decisions at that time. <laughs> yeah. Are these evil limbs really that hard? I don't get it. Seems that way. Our commander left the party. Oh shit, I'm blocked. So what's this in and out burger? That's where we never went. Probably didn't exist there. But people always talk about it like it's the best thing ever. Yeah, we don't have an in and out burger. Um, fuck. We don't have a lot of cool shit that you probably heard of, like Jack in the Box and... What's that? Jack in the Box. I just know that's a game. It's like a really cheap uh, fast food place, but supposedly really good. I've never had it. I don't like it, to be honest. Um, sometimes they serve steaks, but they're not very good. So when are you going to make the evil crafty? Um. Yeah. <laughs> that one, I think crafty himself should design. Or at least give me the concept of it. That, I'll do it. I'll fuck, dude, he, there should be one. Yeah, there or should Or something be. like, not evil crafty, maybe something like, uh. Shit. He's, he's gonna yeah zombie x that'll be that'll be the the one <laughs> zombie x yeah we've talked about a zombie x monster oh um, it's coming though yeah yeah 
I don't know. I feel like if you make a crafty monster, it has to teleport you all around the screen. You oh, know, yeah. you can never attack it because it's teleporting you. Yeah. When you kill it, it just teleports you to a random place on the map. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Water? Probably. Yeah, I think we're past the hard part now. Should be smooth sailing. I think you've said that on every single one of these quests, and then it progressively gets worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. now that I think of it, I'll take the whole thing back. There's going to be some <laughs> crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking it was about to get worse in my head. I'm like, okay, that's a sign of it's getting worse. Yeah. It's about to hit the fan for the thousandth time.
Oh shit. At Kerner X. But Novak has it. He's got it. He's got it. I knew it, you fucking asshole. <laughs> and there's red rippers right there too. Oh yeah. All right, let's see how much CXP we get from this at Kerner. I'm 1% shy of the next level. Oh, you should be able to get it then. What are you, 1600? Yeah. Oh shit, now everybody's going to die. Why is this Argus going next to the monster? What the fuck? Yo, Crafty, don't rest them. Don't rest them if they... Just wait up until the monster has died to rest anybody who died. Because they're just running next to you. They want that loot, goddammit. But yeah, hell wow. I, I actually, my girl just randomly brought me a liter of water mixed with electrolyte powder. So yeah, I'm getting hydrated out here. Yeah, that damn near gave me a full level. Hell yeah. Did you get yours, Joel? Oh, what the fuck? Did I just get... Over one level? Is that even possible? I don't know. Yeah, it just gets smoother, right? Smooth sailing. Yeah. Where is the Chinese panda, though? We're gonna... Yeah, we he it. should have been here. Did we, we killed it back here. Well, we killed one back here. I don't know if somebody lured it. Oh, yeah. It's died. Yeah, yeah. It definitely died. I wonder if we got the frag or if, like, a red rib did. Yeah, it, it's, it died and the gate opened, yeah. I don't think uh, Chinese Panda can take hits from any other monster. I, th I thought Chinese Panda was the one that did it. It's uh, Hydrocon. Guardian it? Hydrocon. That okay.
Is that the second boss or the third boss that we've killed now? Um, it might have been the first one actually, or the second one that we killed. I'm about to go check. Um, yeah, does the team know where we went? We went back a little bit. Um, they're walking that way, I think. Oh, no. Maybe lost. Maybe not. Okay, guys, go to the west and to the entrance of the mountain. Well, I seen Novak, and then I died. So, I must have been in the right place? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were heading there. Uh, it's still a little bit to the uh, the west from there. Chris, you're gonna have a real hard time photoshopping the night because you're gonna have to fucking rip all of our characters and make them all eat each other's asses. It's really <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I could do it. Oh, yeah. Should be easy. I just need a. Cut out one more character, Miles is. Oh, <laughs> gonna put me in the middle. God damn well, it. Blow me has to be in in the sack. <laughs> That's true. Blow me's gotta be in there. Oh shit, I think Mungo Rats are up here. Although that's not a huge deal for you guys. It's a pain in the ass for somebody at my level. Suddenly I fucking crashed. I got real tired. God damn it. I need more coffee. Yeah, fuck those electrolytes. Yeah, they for yeah, exactly like right after I drank this electro what what did my girl put into this drink? What the 
Fuck. Yeah, she's like, you need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Here's some drugs. Here's some GHB, Joel. Yeah. Bear Grill says electro- electrolytes come from piss. Yeah, bear urine. Bear. Bear Grills, man. Fucking legend. Nobody wants to talk about Ray Mears, though. I uh, know, man. It's because he has no shock factor. He's he's all like luxury. He's got like a luxurious hammock. He's spit roasting a fucking pig. Like he, he's, it's so easy for him. It's not entertaining, you know. Yeah. Do you know who Ray Ray Mears is? No. Is he some sort of survivalist? He, he was like pre Bear Grylls, but uh, he he says if you're rough in it, you're doing it wrong. Like you could put him in the middle of nowhere and he'll be set up like he has all the the like modern amenities, you know, like he it, it's not a struggle for him. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it does make sense, though, because, you know, if anybody goes to the woods, they're not going to go like. I'm gonna t- tomorrow. I'm gonna drink my piss. <laughs> They're gonna have like a yeah, fucking right. tent out there, sausages, fucking cheddar, all kinds yeah. of shit. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, he shows you how to like if you have nothing out there, how to just set it up with no tools, no nothing. You know, no food. <laughs> like you know, he's he's like, oh, you pick this plant, you know, to do this, and then he ends up like killing a wild boar and spit ro- like building a spit roast. Right. Yeah. I like that stuff, though. People who know their shit in the nature, they know what you, what you can eat and what you cannot eat. And, you know, just how yeah. to make a fire in any situation, in any weather. Yeah. I guess Ray Mears was uh, like a, a Bear Grylls hero was Ray Mears and Ray Mears came out and was like Bear Grylls that guy's a fucking joke <laughs> right? He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's how he t- probably started drinking his piss man yeah he's like fuck it man I'm just depressed I'm gonna drink out of this elephant shit yeah. didn't he sleep he, he inside squeezed. like carcass or something weird yeah he did yeah, he did that. Oh my god, dude. He he squeezed water out of elephant shit and drank it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he got sick too. Yeah. Yeah, I felt the most I've ever enjoyed any survivalist is like some dudes on YouTube who go into the woods for like a, you know, like a 20 day challenge and they're like, it's not theatrical in any way. It just shows you. How oh, it yeah, is. yeah. No, those are pretty cool too, you know. I, I used to watch all that shit on you, survivalist shit. Yeah. Do you guys know any tips? Like, what would you, if somebody dropped you with five cans of food in the middle of the forest and you didn't know where you are, like, what would you do? Like, would you look at, like, which way the mushrooms are pointing? <laughs> yeah. like, you, know, you know the thing on the fucking uh, on tree. First thing, I would try to find, uh, like, a river, you know, if possible. Uh, like, try to find water 
and you know usually there's stuff around water you know and especially if you can find a river you just follow the river and then you're out of there yeah yeah that is true because yeah uh, if you just keep on going if it's any sizable river if you just keep going you know like uh you'll get to civilization eventually oh yeah see but what if you're in the amazon and then there's a flash flood you don't want to be anywhere near the river yeah that's true yeah. what do you yeah. do then yeah what are you uh fuck dude uh jump from tree to tree i don't fucking know follow the river but tree to tree yeah. Tarzan find the highest tree. point and just chill out okay. yeah till the dry season start collecting <laughs> yeah. grasshoppers and using them as bait what do you bait grasshoppers with though i mean what are you baiting them well, anything would can go for it, like rats, you know, like rats have a good sense of smell, like maybe some native dogs. Oh, yeah. I think he was uh, asking, what do you catch with the, maybe not. Oh, yeah, I was, dude, I don't know, I realized, like, when I said that, that I said it in the dumbest way, and it doesn't even make sense, but I was just too tired to fucking correct myself. But yeah, I was, yeah, what do you catch them with, fuck, it's impossible, I can't, I'm going to bed, <laughs> yeah, see ya. Okay. See ya. Well, insects uh, are easy to catch. Yeah, you, you really put a, you put a blade of grass in your mouth and just wait for it to hop in. That's what I do. <laughs> you slit your wrists and wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Forward slash God mode. Yeah, isn't the Amazon though? I don't know if this is bullshit, but like, it's like the scariest place in the world no not where i'm going um fuck the natives like planted most of the trees or right? it was like brought there it wasn't just naturally there always it's like something about the agriculture of the ancient people or them planting the trees and then the spanish travelers or whatever bringing their own plants just weird stuff like that yeah, because actually, tech, uh, or technically, it was a desert before it was a rainforest. Yeah, doesn't it go through long, like extremely long seasons, like that, where it turns into desert and then back? Or maybe that's not it. Maybe that's Sahara. That's how it Sahara is used to be a rainforest. Uh, yeah, uh, all of them go through cycle. Like uh, the Amazon used to be a desert, and the Sahara used to be a rainforest. You know, they kind of switch back and forth. It takes you know like millennia for that shit to happen. Yeah. Yeah, they say like a third of the uh, world's oxygen comes from like the Amazon rainforest. I guess the other two thirds comes from a basement. Hey, oh. What? <laughs> yeah, the herd is just moving on its own. People are just following yeah. each other, but nobody's leading. Yeah, you can tell they're directionless. You know, this is like uh, the game of life. If you've ever seen that, that uh... is that some sort of gay musical? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, it's just like Rent. No, the game of life. It's it's like uh, a board with a bunch of LEDs on it, and uh, like you you strategically place. Uh, like you turn on LEDs and that, you know, symbolizes life and you can start the board, but like it, it's hard to explain. It's, it's a game very hard to beat. That sounds like the most nonsensical game I've ever heard of. That's, oh man, yeah. but I'm, I know it makes sense though, but fuck. Um, yeah, no, it came out of the 80s. It probably put you to sleep just fucking listening to the explanation. Yeah.
God damn it, Crafty, just use your legs and show us where to go. Herd mentality. Yeah. Crafty's definitely a good sheepdog. And we're all sheep. This is where we all die. I d yeah, I died. That was the first time. Somebody rescued me. I think it was Winds or Satanic Ritual. They got me, though. Hey, Crafty, could we get a statue? You know, probably in the most difficult place possible. Fuck this game. Fucking three, three <laughs> deaths in a row. What the fuck is it? People keep resting me when I... Four times, man. They rest me so fast, I don't even have my bags open. Like, I got nothing. I know. Alright, res me now. Whoever, whoever, thank you. Juan Pablo, the man. Keep moving my body to a safe spot and res me. Thank you. Motherfuckers. Yeah, no, they just fucking, in the middle of all that shit, just res you. Yeah, it's funny. I don't play with macros or anything on your server, but I do kind of just want to create a macro for opening my backpacks because I die so much. Oh, yeah. And I didn't even, I don't think I had it in the first slot either. There's like a hundred gold coins in it, so. Yeah, Novak Tankovic about to take that at Kerner X. Fucking better, he only has one job. What's his no name? Novak Tankovic. Yeah. <laughs> Can either of you do the British accent? Uh, you trying for me to be like prejudice? Yeah, super offensive. <laughs> it's about hello, really? mate. I always, I always do that shit. Like I'm always shitting on anybody who has that <laughs> yeah. weird 
accent. Can you do an American accent? Nope. <laughs> he said no. He Fuck sounds that. more American than me. That's true. Somebody yeah, from America thought I was the person from Finland. Yeah, this is finished. Fuck, I'm out there standing like what? He like came up to me. Welcome to America. Like, uh, that—that's the other guy. Never left. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a passport, so uh, I'm from here. We got a fuck ton of people here. I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was this many. I don't think they've ever been alive at the same time, though. Yeah. It's really just three people on a bunch of characters. Yeah, yeah. If you ask, it's just me. It's me on all of them and fish. Yeah, if you ask some people on Twitch, that's what they believe. <laughs> yeah. These are all. Us. These are all MCs. Oh yeah, party's disabled. Damn, Joel, just lure it closer to us, you fucking asshole. Dude, yeah. I had no goalie. I don't know how I survived that. Novak has it now. Nice. I, I was just trying to do something good for once, but apparently everybody <laughs> died. I was just trying to help. Yeah. Everybody died. Joel's fault. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag rich people problems. I didn't have a goldie. Yeah. Never had one. How's that? Never ever. What is that? Yeah, I thought I thought you were rocking some girl's hair or something. You yeah, know, when you first told me about it. Yeah. When Miles won't, gets one, he won't even use it. He'll just, like, look at it all the time. Like, my precious, looking yeah. like Smeagol and shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In his little deep fucking underground cave. Just like Gollum. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, I do. Man. Yeah, I need to get me a precious. It has, like, less than a minute on it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should make an upgraded Goldie from that uh, zombie monster and call it Precious oh, and it yeah. lasts an hour. Dude, for real, for real though. Precious has to be the most OP ring ever. Yeah, yeah, it turns you invisible to all monsters. Because <laughs> isn't that what, what it did in the uh, Lord of the Rings? Or no, it made you visible to the the Nazgul or whatever. Well, it made you invisible. Yeah, but the Nazgul, the the bad guys could see you. The the I ghost finished that damn series. I watched the <laughs> that first. That was at few. the beginning. That's <laughs> like the first thing you learned. Oh, then um, I'm gonna change my story. Uh. I don't remember those movies. It was traumatizing for me. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, what else? You got continue. Explain what? How do we? Yeah. Break yeah, the let's... algorithm. I just hit the grave. We need to push it hard now. Yeah, everybody, uh, you know, make sure you comment, you know, and tell us what quests or, you know, where we should hunt next. What monsters you guys would like to see, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Leave it in the comments. Let us know. Mushroom slap that like button. Yeah, yeah. mushroom slap that. I'm never touching your.